Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today's Vlogmas Day 3. It's actually, is this gonna focus? Okay, it's actually 7 p.m. and I'm about to do a workout. Um, but I thought I would do like a little twist on today's video because I really wanna answer some questions. I've been getting a ton of questions here lately and I kinda just wanna like answer them all in one video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing circuit today. So I'm gonna be doing like one set of each workout in a circuit. Um, and then after each circuit, I'm going to come here and answer a question. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram and I'm just going to pick like the most common ones I see, which ones are most asked the most and stuff like that. So I thought that would be a really fun, interactive way. Um, also by showing you guys how I work out and stuff like that. So I have my baby monitor here. I have a silence right now. I'm about to turn it back up so I can hear her, but I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do deadlifts. I think that's what I want to do. Um, I'm getting the bar in our, our garage is a disaster right now because of doing the table and everything like this is our garage right now um, this is all Christmas stuff too what we're doing are we are doing um, deadlifts traditional deadlifts we are going to do some upright rows i just have that box there to hold that in place we have some ordering 21s and i will show you guys how to do those and then we're going to do overhead squats overhead squats are really hard but we can do them you can do them without weight you can do them with weight so i'm probably going to do them without weight and then we'll see how to go on from there so let's get started let's do our first circuit <laughs> So I got like three minutes, not even, hopefully, not even three minutes. So let's look at one of the questions real quick. <sighs> Good question, I wanna talk about this. Is Mauricio staying in the Navy? So if you don't know Mauricio's in the Navy, he's been in for about four years. He has like a year left and some change. Um, so the answer to that question is not, not active, um, but he still wants to stay in the reserves. So that is our plan as far as him being in the Navy. He wants to stay in so that we can keep the insurance. It's pretty good insurance. Um, the only flaw we've found in it so far is that it doesn't cover eyeglasses, which is really weird, and I wear glasses. So I've had to use my mom insurance, my mom's insurance that I'm on still, but that will only last me about two more years, and then we'll just have to pay out of pocket completely for them. Glasses are usually super expensive anyways. I usually always end up paying like 200 bucks for them anyways, but without insurance, I can't imagine how much they would cost. So um, yes, he is planning on staying in the Navy, but in the reserves, um, and then he can go active at any point. If for some reason, you know, like his job isn't hiring outside of the Navy, then he would probably re-enlist as, as active. But for right now, um, the answer is no. And the reason why we say that is because his next tour could possibly be the big D word. And um, Lilia will be almost two or right at two. So it just wouldn't be that fun um, for him to be on a year long deployment um when he, she's two so i mean it's not fun at any point but i feel like two would be like such a hard age because two or three is like just when like i don't know i just feel like it'd be a really hard age even though all ages are hard i just feel like that would be a really hard age um and also us being here in pensacola with no family around would also be really hard for a year with 
you know, no family, not even your husband's home. So that's the plan. So let's go do another round. <laughs> five so I'm on two okay <laughs> and I already briefly if you watched my oh my god my nose if you watched my taking a pregnancy test video kind of know the answer to this um when are we having another baby are we having another baby it's another baby in the cards <sighs> it's kind of situational if he has to re-enlist active duty we'll have to like discuss when but as of right now it's whenever he's done being in active duty when we decide when we want to have another one i would love for lilia to be like three or four years older than her siblings so like trying in like a year and a half to two years um but i wouldn't try any earlier than that because i wouldn't want to have the chance of having a baby before then so probably not for another like year and a half two years is the idea but it could it could change but hopefully i'm still on youtube or social media somewhere so you guys will know but as of right now two to three years is like the guesstimate but it's situational okay i might actually end up taking the weights off the deadlift because it's starting to hurt my lower back which means i'm playing my form so i don't want to hurt myself so i'm going to try to do this round and then if it starts to hurt i will take the weight off or just go into a different exercise that targets the same um muscle groups Next question, um, an update on Lilia and her meningitis and her kidneys and stuff like that. So there really isn't much of an update as from what I've shared. Um, we're waiting for, well, it's six months then. It's probably like two or three months that we're waiting. I don't remember when I made that appointment. I want to say it was in January, maybe February. Their eyes look so creepy. I don't know if it will focus in time. Wait, she closed down. No, she has stalls. Anyways, so, oh, geez, I'm dark. So, we, there's not much of an update, per se, um, as far as her kidneys go. Um, as far as the lingering effects of meningitis, there are some things that um, concern me that raise red flags, but I haven't talked to her pediatrician about them. Um, I haven't had to go to her pediatrician, thank goodness, since her, like, six-month appointment. And she's her nine month appointment is like the tuesday after christmas i believe like the 27th or the 28th or something like that um so i will address those concerns when i'm there um i was always told like that she could be a couple months behind because of the meningitis um she said like one to three months behind because she spent a month in the hospital you know with very limited like tummy time and you know not the ability to roll on the floor for you, nelly because we were in the hospital um so she always said that she could be anywhere between one to three months behind this the norm and she said one to three because some times babies are you know two months behind but they're not actually behind because every baby grows and develops on their own developmental uh, timeline that's what i'm trying to say um, but yeah, Lily is very close to crawling. She's hit almost all of her milestones, like within like the proper time. And I say, I've, I put proper time because obviously like the proper time is whenever your child learns how to do it. So, I mean, I feel like she's learned everything in a really good time schedule, but I mean, the doctor said that she should be crawling by nine months, but then I've seen parents where their child doesn't crawl to a year or they kind of just skip crawling and go straight to walking. All right, anyways, that's kind of like my main concerns. She is not going back to sleep and she's getting mad now. So I'm gonna go in there and try to soothe her. All right. It's 
All right, I'm gonna do a like 15 minute Pilates workout, beginner Pilates on YouTube because I don't know, just feeling it. Feeling like doing something a little different. Pilates is what I wanted to do originally, but I was like, let me go out into the garage and be a little bit quieter, but I'm just trying to get something quick done. And if I just do 15 minutes and knock it out, that's what I want to do right now. I've already done 15 minutes, but I need to do like another 15. Before I end this vlog, I'm gonna answer a couple more questions real quick that I got on Instagram overnight and that I really wanna answer. What? All right, so the first one is, how often are you nursing Lilia now? Um, she still nurses probably seven to eight times a day, maybe not as much as that, but she does eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She also snacks, but she nurses when she wakes up, like she wakes up around like four or five and nurses, wakes up at eight and nurses, nurses before her first nap, which is like 11, um, and then nurses around two-ish, and then five, and then bedtime, and then once at like 11, and it kind of just varies. I still nurse her on demand, like whenever she wants to nurse, I nurse her. Uh, so yeah, still seven to eight times. Um, and every once in a while she gets a bottle, but um, she doesn't really take a bottle as often. Um, we've been trying to give her more bottles though because of the breast milk that I have pumped in the freezer that needs to be used. Um, the next question is, how many children do you guys hope to have? Um, I would really love maybe two or three biological, um, and then probably a couple of adopted kids. 100% sure I've always felt like I have a calling to being adopted to adopt um and we can foster not so much adopt but more so foster like obviously when you foster i think more so what i want to do um is foster to adopt but i'm not i'm also not against foster to like reuniting families together so um me and marisa both are on board with that it's just we want to make sure that he, his career is stable enough for us to be able to do that um so that involves not being in the navy all right, the last question I wanna answer is, what are you looking forward to the most with Lilia growing up? So I am really looking forward to just being able to like take her around the world and experience the world. I was really like yucky, I was really lucky as a child where I got to experience Europe and you know, um, I didn't get to explore the US much until I was a little bit older, but um, I just really w am looking forward to like showing her what she can do in this world. There's so many possibilities. A lot of people think that they're stuck in their hometown or that they're stuck in their state or they're stuck in their country and that's not the case. Like you have a whole world that you can decide what you want to do and where you want to go and, and what you, and Dixie's barking and like there's just a lot of different options. Dixie's literally, I thought, I'm thinking I'm hearing the garage door open, but I think it's the mailman. So anyways, I just am really looking forward to watching her explore. You know, she really loved the beach. That was fun for me to watch when she first went to the beach and sees the sand, saw the sand. I'm really looking forward to her, you know, going in the ocean more. I'm looking forward to her going to the pool more. Um, she's already been on a plane, but as she gets older, it'll be more exciting to see her interact with the plane and see, like look out the window and stuff like that. So I think that's the what I'm most looking forward to doing with her. Um, but I mean, then again, I'm just looking forward to everything about her growing up. Honestly, like I just, I just, I just want to see her and give her the best opportunity to have the best life that she can. I want to show her in the endless opportunities and possibilities there are out there so that's my goal anyways 
that's it for the vlogmas day two or day three day three vlogmas day three um so see you guys in vlogmas day four bye guys